right? Like a banner? Yeah. Yeah, you thought I've seen him before. It's like a banner in the background. Yeah, I'm not, oh, okay. yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar yeah, with it. Yeah, we're not familiar with it. Yeah, but, right, but I, yeah, we're going to go into the, uh, yeah. you got to be disciplined. All right, get up about the whole Ivy single. Yeah. You got his, he got his scripture. What's one more scripture that you can bounce with? Okay, no problem, man. Like, uh, run among the problems or something like that. Yeah, so, so right now, you know the mark of the beast is, right? No, listen, I, I, I was going to tell him it's like the, about the chip. But you know, I started saying the doctrine, so but oh, I didn't get a chance. Doctrine, well, you said the doctrine first. I, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I told with. you part of it. No, 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 no. But no. I didn't you don't, finish you don't, talking. You don't lead with that. You're right. You don't Listen, lead with right. that. That was wrong. That's the point. You do not lead with that. Mm -hmm. You lead with the chip. Okay, that's okay, the center. Oh, I got you. Okay, so, right? so the chip comes first. Yes. Right, right. And then the doctrine is part of it. Right. Yeah. Right. Shalom, I got you. So okay. if you somebody asks you that, you don't start saying doctrine. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when you do that, that, that seems like you kind of think you're full of shit at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, you. Was you actually going to mention the chip? Honestly? Like, honestly, you I was going to mention that? Honest. All right, most, most yeah, guys. I'm not, listen, I'm not going to lie, you know, in front of the men of the Lord, man. I'm not going to lie, man. Because you know we're great millstone brothers, right? Yeah, I know, man. I know the truth. Man, you know about the. the we are the, GMS. You know, I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was gonna tell you, but what happened is I told you the the doctrine first, you know. Which was not right. Like, like you said, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you I'm said, I, I was supposed to say the the chip, chip. first. Right. Yeah, but so chip. now, so now I know. Good job. You know Good what job. Because yeah, following yeah. Esau, doctor, you asked on James, he's to death whether he take the yeah. chip or not. Yeah, Acts eight and thirty-two. Yeah. You know. So, uh, the counselors. Were done. Yeah. 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 This is Sirach chapter six and verse six. What? Be in peace with many. Be in peace with many. So yeah, we watch other camps too that are yep. not in Great Millstone yep. just to see what's going on. We're not actually learning anything from them. Nope. But if they do a good video, maybe yeah. we're going to give them praise. That's what I do. But if, know, off, but if they go off, but if they go off, let it be known. you know, then we, yeah. we, we got to rebuke them too. Yeah. We, can't, we can't just let them go off and then go out. That's going to lead other Israelites astray. Right. All right? All but right. we have to tell you the truth. No, Thanks, matter, no, no matter what, if it looks like it's arguing with you or you being argumentative, if, if they say something that's off, you gotta give the correct sense so the rest of the congregation won't go down that same path. Yes, because right. when the Lord comes back, He's not gonna have mercy. Yeah. Nope. When the Lord comes, when the Lord comes back, the sealed are gonna be delivered. And if you don't have the truth, mm -hmm. if you don't have the doctrine the correct way, if you're not sealed, the Lord gonna destroy you. Right. But we definitely talk in the end of God. Be in peace with many. Yep. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Right. Right. that, brother? Yeah. One. Yeah. That means one one group. You're only gonna be learning from one group, yeah. Because the other the other camps can be teaching us another doctrine, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you, you say say uh one of those camps. I don't even gonna mention them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah Let, exactly. Let's say one of them was here right now with us, right? Then it, it would be mass confusion because mm -hmm. if the brother this brother was talking about oh yeah we talking about the Marfi D microchip, and then another brother was talking about oh well actually you know it's a philosophy. Uh, how how give me a uh, Amos. Three, uh, what was it? Amos what? Three and six. Amos three and six. Amos three and six. Super fast. Super fast. Anybody? Amos chapter three and verse six. Go ahead. It reads, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city?" Two, two, two. Oh, I think it's verse seven. Yeah, Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Correct. Keep going. And then, yeah, keep going. The lion have roared, who no, no, will no, not I, fear? I, I, I think Five. it's the one before that. Um, shall two walk together unless they be agreed? I think it's three verse three, five three or six. Oh, yeah. Three. Amos three and three. There you go. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's right. So we got to agree on the teaching. Yeah. Right. And the doctrine's got to be. Go ahead, brother. And you got your howl on your shirt. You're supposed to have your yeah. howl shot because you. Worship Yahweh Shah. We can't get to the Father except we get through Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Right, the yeah. Lord. So I mean, you should be advertising that. Yahweh Shah. But, you, but yet you got the Father on your shirt. No, okay. I know it's just a, a shirt, but yeah. you know, but certain, certain, you, certain people believe that they, they exalt the Father, but you got to exalt the Son. The Son is the yeah. one, yeah. one yeah. the Lord, the Most High, going to send His deliverance. Yeah. He's the one that's actually going to save us by the by, by the, the Most High's power. But we got we worship Yahweh Shah. Ah. Yeah. To get to the Father, so we got to give Him praise. Yeah, first. you got to get you got to go to. You got to get the Son praise first. Yeah. That's why he's the mediator. First John, second yeah, Another thing is the fringes on the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's cool to start off with, you know, because you don't know no better. Like yeah, you're just coming in. How long? Yeah. When, how long have you known um, here you in know Israel? What? I've been in the church for like three years. Okay. But I don't, you know, like I said, I'm not in the camp. You how long have you known that you're an Israelite? Um, three years. Three, three years. years. Okay. So, um, do you desire to be a camp in the camp? Um, to learn? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, like you said, you know, it's better to be in a camp. Cover, cover the prophecy. You know? yeah. So I'll tell you what, brother. 
If you really desire to be in a camp, right? We're not saying you're going to join us, right? Right? But if you really desire this, right? You from this neighborhood? Yeah. And then I'm going to see you here next week around 12, between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Right, you coming back here? We're going to be out here because we All out, right. this is our spot. We out here every single week between like 12 o'clock and 2. All right. And sometimes between like, you know, sometimes we might start at 3, but we're going to be out here. Right. So if you really truly desire that, we're gonna see you here, right? Okay, no problem, man. Okay, we're gonna see you yeah, here. Really, man, you know? We're gonna see you then. Alright. Because you, you didn't keep your word. Yo. You put your word out. Let me, let me hit him with this. Go ahead. Because this is this is this is gonna sit in your spirit. I'm gonna get you with a couple scriptures to try to build you up before I'm, you leave, alright? I'm gonna hit you with this. This is this is gonna sit in your spirit. This is uh, Ephesians ahead, 4 and 4. There is one body and one spirit, mm. even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. That's right. Verse one five. body. One body is Yahweh Shai's body. And we are the church. We're the body of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, brother. Check this out. This is the verse number five. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. So guess what? When somebody's teaching many different doctrines, you can't be following that, brother. Now check this out. Uh, verse six. One power and father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. Yeah, so actually, pretty much is... You can't, you can't be listening to many different doctors because you, you listen to many different doctors, your head's going to spin, man. Yeah. That's like in, a, in a, you know how, how you say, well, mommy said I could get some milk. Well, daddy said no. Why are you going to ask mommy for it? Now there's confusion in the household, right? Yeah, yeah, well, daddy yeah. said no. Well, mommy said it's okay. We just got to go one way. As if we that's just got to have one way. And that's why the father is the ruler of the household. They ain't know what, what mommy said. No, no, that's American Babylonian philosophy. The philosophy of Babylonia. We don't follow that garbage. Yeah. We follow one strict teaching doctrine through Great Millstone because the apostles, they teach consistently. We're about consistency. The Lord's about consistency. We have to be consistent. And the scripture says to commit thyself to faithful men. Faithful men who are faithful coming out on the highways and the hedges consistently. Not just when it's, when it's, when it's nice and hot out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice out here or not, brother. Yeah, even if, if it's freezing out Yeah, if it's freezing, brother, we're going to be out here. Yeah, if yeah. it's torrential downpour, should we gonna be out here? <laughs> because we were out here in torrential downpour. Everybody was running and scattering like roaches. We was right here, man. You know? Uh, give me Acts 8 and 30 real quick. If y'all brothers got something, fire off right after. Real quick. Fire them out quick. Right. Philippians chapter 2, verse 2. Go ahead. Fulfilling ye my joy, they be they be like-minded. Like-minded. Having the same love. The same love. Being of one accord, Woo! one accord, of one mind. Of one, one mind. mind. So we all got to break down the scriptures one yeah. way. Now, when these guys come out with the scriptures and they come with all these different philosophies, you're going to think the mark of the beast is sin. Now, that, that sin is transgression of the law. Yeah. Ultimately, if you do take the mark of the beast, you are transgressing the laws of the Most High because you're not supposed to make any cuttings and markings in your flesh, right? Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, the hour of temptation is going to lead you to have to take this mark of the beast so that you can buy and sell. Now, if you don't buy and sell, there's, it, it doesn't fulfill the scriptures. Yeah. So it must be the chip because that's where yeah, people... if you don't have the chip, then you can't do They're nothing. doing it right now. Yeah. So that, that debunks the philosophy because all of us were in Christianity before, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't you used to be in a Christian yeah, church? Yeah, Catholic, man. Nah, man, hey, look it, man. I in it, man. Man, I went to Catholic <laughs> school when I was in, whatever, fourth grade, third grade. Got my ass beat by somebody. Till I pissed my damn pants one time because they hit me, man. And they hit me in the, in the school. They would hit your ass. So, you know, it is what it is, man. So what, what do you guys think about the um, COVID-19? Hold on one second. Give me Acts 8 and 30 real quick. This is Acts chapter 8, verse 30. Go ahead. And Philip ran thither to them, to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. That's right. And said, understand this. Thou what thou readest. So you understand what you're reading? So sometimes you might be reading the scriptures or even watching uh, doctrine on TV mm -hmm. or on uh, YouTube, but you don't really understand what's going on. That's why you got to come to the brothers. Go ahead. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? Unless the man should guide me. Now who guides man? Man. man no, no, who guides man? Well, the heavenly father. That's yeah. right. Give me Proverbs 16 and six, uh, 1 real quick, somebody. Quick, fast. 16 and 9 as well because this is why you came up here yeah. you came up here because the lord yahweh ba sent you here this is proverbs 16 verse 1 Go ahead. the preparations of the heart and man and the answer of the tongue is from the lord so the lord brought you here mm -hmm. he actually put the understanding in your head to say you know what i think i'm gonna go stop over there because those brothers are hebrew israelites 
Now here I, now here you are. And keep going to verse nine. Verse nine. This is Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse nine. A man, a man's heart deviseth his way. So you thought you was gonna come over here to say, "Oh, what's up, brothers? Hey, shalom," and then leave, right? But then I wasn't gonna go down like that. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what I was gonna. Do. <laughs> I just came to say, "What's up to you, fellas, man?" Yo. <laughs> but it's all right, man. You know, I'm willing to listen. You and know he what set man? you straight. Yeah. And look, this, this elder set you straight because yeah. if he didn't come set you straight and come at you hard, yeah, you wouldn't have really registered that. Yeah. He had to come at you hard, but that's love. Yeah, He's showing I know. you. That's showing you love. I understand. Now that may come off like that. Yo, why are you coming at me like that? We showing you the utmost love, man. Yeah, but you know I'm not. When like, you I'm leave, not, you're respected. I'd rather listen. You understand? I'd rather listen, man. He, he straight yeah, challenged my doctrine, and he straight set me straight. Keep going. Come on. Let me look um, up the definitions, man. man. Yeah, I'm, this is <laughs> this is verse nine. A man's heart. Deviseth his own his way. Yeah, but you, the so you, Lord thought you, gonna, you thought you was gonna come here for yourself to just say shalom, but but the Lord directed his steps. But the Lord directed his steps. So he had you over here, but now you're over here. See <laughs> what I'm saying? So he said, now nah, now we'll put you in the forefront. But it ain't but it ain't to put you on blast. Yeah. It's yeah. to it's to help you out. Go ahead. You say something? Okay. You know what? You know what it is? The mark of the beast is the most important prophecy right now. Yeah. Because the new world order is going on in front of your face. In front of these people. These people are got... CV-19. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The COVID-19. These, COVID these people are... I'm just going to be blunt with you, That's brother. a plague, man. These people are freaking blind right now. They don't understand what's going on. CV-19 is going on right only only to bring in the new world order. Yeah, and they're doing it. Out. And they're doing it right in front of your face. Ultimately, the mark of the beast is what they're going to push off. The vaccines and so on and so forth. That's why they're making you wear masks to break down your immune system. Yeah. Because they're going to have everybody Plague, ask, oh, well, listen, I'm feeling system. sick. I'm feeling like I need that vaccine. Plague, plagues and pestilence. Right. And they might make it mandatory. Right. You know, they, I won't yeah, be surprised. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's right. Oh, get, bring that out. Either yeah. one or two things is going to happen. Either, either they're going to go through with the plan completely or they just going to build up for the next time they want to do another uh, that's right. situation. That's right. That's maybe right. another pestilence they release, maybe a terrorist attack, attack or something. That's yeah. right. But we know definitely right now they're laying the groundwork. But so they for the for the like your brother said, new yeah. world order. Yeah. I heard the, the uh, military is gonna take over everything. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's the scenario. The, the reason why they the reason why they would do that was is to cut the, the cities off mm -hmm. so they can more uh, easily control the population. Mm -hmm. So so they can control the population easier, mm -hmm. meaning to control them to chip them. Most, to chip, most people don't right. even see it coming, man. Most right. Yes, right. people are about to get hit with it hard. Yeah. Because what they're gonna do is. What they're going to do is eventually, you know how they got these tracker apps now? They got tracker apps trying to see if, oh, so this person got the coronavirus. And, and right. all yeah, you, you tell on them, you get $20 right. or something, you know? Right. They make a career out of it, what man. What are doing? The, the tracking too? The tra yeah. uh, contact tracing. Pay tracing, you a couple dollars if yeah. they find you. That's right. Yeah. So they, the ultimately, ultimately, this, this, this mark of the beast is the, is the most important thing to get us out of here. And really in a small town, really anywhere, in yeah. a small town or city, you really got no excuse to know the truth because like this like a downtown area or something like that something right like here. that so it's everybody going to see plaza, it so they see area. us out here they see the sign mm -hmm. all right they see it's recording but see us with bibles reading scriptures they have to know, not to apply the prophets which we are to figure out what's going on why That's is right. it so important for them to be wasting a saturday to be reading yeah, reading the scriptures right so sacrifice what your the life. church said know, right because you, you know? can kill us man you you got a knife. I'm just I, you know I don't think you are. I don't perceive that to, to be a threat. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying yeah. you can have a knife or a gun on you right now. Right, you you can like smoke all say. of us, man. Like I, I believe real fast. Yeah. You you could kill every one of us, or even with a knife, possibly kill all of us. And you know what's funny that he mentioned that he uh, uh, um, uh, uh, twelve and one Romans twelve and one that we lay our life on the line as a living sacrifice, right? Because a living sacrifice, meaning we putting ourselves on an altar, man. Meaning anybody can come up here and do yeah. something to us at any moment. Because this is the altar of the Lord. This is the Messiah altar right of the here. Lord. Yeah. So we're a sacrifice yeah. for the Lord. Yeah. So we die We die in the truth. Yeah. Listen, we ultimately, Lord willing, may come back on that chariot, man. You see? Right. Get that scripture real quick. I got Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. This is what happened to you. Reprove not a scorner, Lest he hate thee, rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. So we rebuked you, but but we because we love you. Yeah, see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Now do you, do you love us for that? Of course I love you. Guys. Yeah, you because guys my brothers, because man. because we showed you love. <laughs> this this brother showed you maximum love because yeah. he came direct at you. Yeah. He wasn't playing no games with you. Thing, man. You know. He wasn't playing no games. Yeah, oh, <laughs> we find that uh, numbers. Is it numbers? <laughs> you know, I understand why why certain brothers wear the fake numbers thirty-five or fifteen. What is the t-shirt with the? Fun up here too, though. You know again, saying? that's not having some fun. That's not technically. Well, I guess technically it is against the law because the scriptures say 
garment down to the foot. Yeah. yeah. That's a, but, a, I, I, you know. Hey, I come mean, get the word, man. Come get the word. <laughs> well, matter of fact, we read the, the word of the Lord. Come on. Uh, border, uh, border look, 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 he's coming, man. Look at that. He's coming, man. <laughs> they got him. The scriptures say to, to compel them to come in, man. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, look for uh, 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 Yahweh, Yahweh Shah in Revelation. So Yahweh Shah in Revelation. Out, too. The border, uh, he getting out, yeah. Of blue. He getting out, too, yo. Yeah. See, yo, we be catching them out. Yeah, we be catching them out here. Yeah, it's a small, it's a small little city town, so, I mean, What's up, my man? You really got, uh, really got no excuse, man. Shalom means peace. He's beyond to you. Yeah. Well, he's reading the scriptures, you know, how it's supposed to be read. Breaking down the scriptures, how it's supposed to be read. Oh, on, on, his, on uh, YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. But you don't see Great Millstone with that. You know? And again, I'm not, I guess technically it may not be against the law. I'm really not sure. That, that's not tradition. You wouldn't, you wouldn't normally. That's more of a fashion state to wear a t shirt with a. Uh, French, French is on. That's more of a fashion garment state. down to the foot, yeah. like the Lord. As the scriptures say, yeah, like, yeah as the scriptures say, but you already know that. Yeah. We just say we ain't telling you nothing. No, yeah, that's, more, that's more so of a fashion statement. That's really. Go ahead, bring, you know, bring, bring that out. Go ahead, bring, that. That. Go bring out numbers first. Okay, get that number. Numbers chapter 15, yep. verse 38. That's why we wear what we wear. Yep. Verse 37. Right. And Yahweh will speak unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make make the fringes in the borders of their garments. Mm. Right, a fringes in the border of the garment. Now we dress in like Western type of clothing. Right. So they, they didn't dress like this in the ancient world with the jeans and all that. So the garment, this is really like our actual clothes, you know, in, right. in the ancient world. So we're basically just simulating, you know, our, 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 our ancient uh, kingdom, how, how we used to be. You know, we, ain't, we ain't doing it perfectly yeah. and it, to the absolute letter, but as the scripture says, we practice. All right. Rehearse matter the righteous fact, acts. Matter of fact, get the word. We're practicing yep. in Judges 5. Mm -hmm. Judges 5. Yep. Yeah, Rehearse those righteous up. acts. Okay. Well, throughout, Go ahead. throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Right. The fringes, the borders, a ribbon of blue. So this is the fringes, and this is the border of blue. All right. And it's down to the foot as we're about to read the book of Revelation. That's more of a fashion statement and an advertisement. You ain't really supposed to be doing that. Being wise, I mean. You ain't really supposed to be advertising. Oh, they remember to keep the law. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Yahweh and do them. Right, and remember all the commandments of the Lord to do them. So that's just why we actually wear these, the, the friends with the border blue, is to remember to keep the Lord's commandments. Yeah. Right? But it has to be on a long garment. A long yeah. garment. Again, you're not making a, supposed to be making a fashion statement going out. These are garments fit for, for uh, to, to be doing, to do videos, preach, and to congregate with brothers. And that's the purpose of these. This is not, you're not supposed to go going to work with this. Yeah. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, I'm just giving you advice. Yeah. You ain't supposed to be going to, going to, going to work with garments on, with, with Dimitri on, going teaching at work, telling the people all your business. All right, you, you gotta be wise. Yeah. Right? Wise as a serpent. Now other brothers may, the other camps may feel differently. All right, but we don't, we don't do that. All right, all right, we, we, at, we, we at work, we at work. All right, earn, earn a living. When we yeah. going out and preaching the, the gospel, yeah, yeah, we're well, we're, we put throw the garments on with the borders of blue and we teach. All right. Yeah, because the scriptures say, ask for the old path. So the old right, path yeah. is, that was is, in my is, mind. is this right here. This is the old path. Yeah, eight, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so that was it. So and remember, the garments, the border blue is to remember to keep the Lord's Those commandments. commandments. Yep. Right. This is this this is why the church will never wear these. Yeah. Never. Because they, they don't they don't they're not practicing keeping the Lord's right. commandments. Right. Meaning you're supposed to have you, you clean your diet. Up. They already saved. Right. They already yeah. saved. They are, they believe they're already saved. Anymore. But you got to endure. You have to endure until the end. <laughs> you have to endure until the end to be to be delivered. Well, they, 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 they think they got faith. These Christians, right? These so-called Christians, but they wear they wear these masks. Right. Like yeah. well, I seen a dude driving in a drop top with a mask on. He was in a drop top. By yourself, brother. You're by yourself in a drop top on the highway with a mask on. Right. And, and they, they don't want to understand, understand that the mask That's don't even deal. prevent you from yeah. getting right. the, getting the disease. disease. I was like, what the hell is this guy so doing, far. bro? I was gonna take a There's photo of him, but I was like, I just I gotta get to camp. Hey, all right, brother. You're here next Saturday, twelve o'clock. Yes, Be here about twelve, twelve thirty ish. Oh, One o'clock. Oh, he was getting ready to hit him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, read, read it anyway. If I was you, I'd just wait here at 12 o'clock. I'll be out. These guys gonna come here eventually, man. Hey, 
Yeah. Even if we don't be here right at 12, he'll still show you due diligence. Yeah. See? Most high you see, see, brothers? Yeah. That's how you that's how you correct somebody. Oh, thank you, brother. You correct you correct somebody. First of all, you correct somebody by going into the prophecy. First of all, you go to that market of beast and you hit them on the head with it. Because everybody's teaching different doctrines, man. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. It's simple and plain. And that's what these devils, that's what these devils have according to the new world order. That's what's on their mind right now. That's what's on their lives. Is the chip everybody. Okay? It's about control. It's that's about control. The chip is about. That's right. The chip is not just the chip everybody, it's about controlling every uh -huh. human resource that's right everything with people and in different products that's why they have the barcode uh -huh. and the uh, other uh the, the chips in the different products so they want to track and control that and they want the human resources to control it too yeah because that's why they call it a upc universal product code right they got it on everything that you got you got to scan it and guess what the three lines mean it means six 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 that's what it means in the market of beast the chip it has uh has a barcode inside of that uh that little Grain of rice has a barcode which goes into a, a, a system, right? Which has everybody in a, a, a system. A database. Yeah. A database, right? So it can tell what you like, what you do, everything of that nature. Your medical records, everything, man. All right? Yeah, Credit you know, information. Yeah, when you, when you do, do something online, they actually build a profile on you. That's right, brother. That's right. That's why you go on certain sites and you got an ad blocker like I have on my desktop. That's an ad blocker. Certain sites you can't even get on without un like, without disabling the ad blocker yep. because as soon as you disable the ad blocker everything that you just searched for or previously you'll start seeing like advertising like oh shit i was just searching for that yeah. you search for a damn amp or a guitar or something you see yeah. they start seeing guitars yeah. you know yeah. so they're in a database on you to sell you products so yeah. that's the, the new system that we're entering into is all about control that's right about, about control and uh money yeah matter of fact bring out revelation 13 chapter let's just jump right into it because we all on it bring it out and that's why they got facial recognition, eye retina scans, fingerprint scans. Everything goes all into this, man. All right? That's why when you go to your job, they got a, a, a fingerprint scan when you go in now. A certain jobs got fingerprint scanning. And then you got certain stadiums that got facial recognition. Airports, facial recognition. Walmart, facial recognition. Everything. Yeah, you can use a fingerprint scan mm -hmm. in the iris. Yeah. When, they, when they ask to put a... Um, a chip in you, that's right. and that's when it's time for you to leave. If you that's gotta do the thumbprint, that's fine. If you gotta do the, the eye scan, you can do that, or swipe the card and all that, or even wear a wristband. But they, they, they say put a chip in your arm, it's time, it's time for you to go. That's right. All right. They say you put a chip in your arm, or they take put it, you put it somewhere else or whatever, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to leave that job. And, and somebody asked me, what if, what if you, uh, if you're getting benefits from somebody that take the market of beast, we I thought it was kind of a uh, silly question to ask. Well, if somebody took the market, uh, the market, which is the chip, and you get benefits from them, how, how are you even surviving right now? You know, because you would have had to go through a two type of checkpoint or vaccination already. So that was kind of a silly question. All right, and the world's gonna be a different. It's not gonna be a uh, business as usual when the RFID microchip is like. It's not gonna be a day like this, and everybody just oh, you just go go get your chip. So a lot of things are gonna have transpired before then, or during some days during that time. All right, so it's not gonna be business as usual. Something catastrophe is gonna happen, and they're gonna force you to get that RFID microchip. And if you don't get that chip, you'll be excluded from the system. Right. Not gonna play with the work, not gonna play the rent, we'll pay your car and if you got one, we'll pay your car insurance. All the whole financial system is gonna be transferred to a digital system. Yeah, because that fiat currency that we have right now, the dollar bill, the dollar bill is has been decreasing, man. That that thing been going. Right? They just holding it up for now until the whole plan of C V nineteen was to was to exterminate the dollar. They exterminate the money. Why to make this a cash to society? That's the whole point. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, different countries have been uh, introducing like a digital dollar for America, that digital right. yuan for China. Yeah, that's China. The other countries have been, been, been like putting it out there. Right. Putting the spree, even if they're not going to do it within six months that's right. or four months. That's right. The point is that you had scoffers saying that we, we were just lying all these years. No. Nah. About, about, about the digital currency and about uh, the pestilence is going out. CV19, even one of them, even if it's on a small level, you know? 
we've been telling you about this for years, and our elders and apostles taught us this. You know, and they've been saying it for years, so it's coming to pass now. The point is, is that it's progressing. Whether it happened in four months or six months or two years, it's progressing. So you can't say that we were we were lying. We were we were lying. No, we weren't lying. We've been everything that we've been saying has been slowly, like the elders and apostles say, gradually coming coming to pass. So we're right. And you guys have been lying to lying to the congregation. You're wrong. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like things like a uh, 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 cash app, Vimo, yeah, things yeah. like that. They getting you used to those things because that's that's dig that's cashless. That's digital. That's away from holding money in your hand. Yeah, and we use those things. Right. We use those. So we're not we're not we're not ignorant to how the technology works. That's right. You know, and we know it is more convenient at certain uh, points. So, yeah. You know, but when they get to the chip, I don't give a damn how convenient it is. Don't take that. As soon as they as soon as they put it in your arm. That's it. As soon as they 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 uh, force you. To get an RFE microchip in your arm, which is the mark of the beast, it's time to go. It's time to get out of it's there. Time to grab your backpack, put your books in there, and leave. And, and, and a loaf of bread or whatever the hell you got in the house at the time, and just hit the damn road. Because you're going to be right. off the grid. You're going to be, yeah. You're going to be off the grid eventually. You know, right. hey, you got Revelation, you got Revelation 13, bring it out. Oh, you got it? Yep. Bring it out. 16, start there. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Uh huh. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right, and the mark is the mark of the beast, okay? Which is Satan's mark. He saw, for some reason, he loves the number 666, 666. He, he's in love with that number. You know, you find it in different products, different words, and, and, uh, and uh, Visa, and, and uh, the, the UPC, you know, the Monster Energy drink, you'll find that in there. Wah, 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 yeah. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll find that. He saw he loves the number. All right, so that's his number. That's Satan's number. Satan is so called white man. That's All right, you know why that number six? Because it's imperfection. The number seven 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 is perfection. See, the, see, this this devil is all about being. In, he, he's all about imperfection. That's why he has that number six six eight. He love that number because he he's against the Most High. The Most High is about righteousness, but this man is about wickedness. Go ahead, right, brother. Yeah, uh, the mark mark of the beast. When you look the word up, there were just karagma, karagma, mm -hmm. which means uh, something that goes into your body, an implant, something, something that goes beneath the surface of something. All right. Yeah, bad like, like like a tree will be karagma into the earth. Yeah, because it dug the roots dug in. Or if you put any structure up, like a pole or a gate, you gotta go into the ground. You know, or yeah, you gotta go into the ground for it to, uh, to be uh, to be a rest in the air. Told you. But um <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know the real Jews and so-called blacks and that, that were putting to slavery in this country. Where where the real Jews and you twisting your hair up like that? That's trying to simulate a so-called afro, all right? A woolly hair, a woolly hair. I knew your cobble was going to get him. You know, that, that's what that is. His head down, he's just shame. Just FYI, yeah, he can keep walking. We gotta yeah, talk to we him. We gotta get him. We gotta talk to him. He just keep walking. It was a so-called Jew with the uh, the fake uh, the fake the top hat. Yeah, yeah. Like a witch and shit all black. Yeah. Yeah. Esau try to he try to emulate uh, Jake, and but when he does it, he, he does it so. Bad. He had to introduce witchcraft That's right. within that, That's right. within the doctrine. Uh, we just keep it pure. Yeah. When Esau does it, so-called white man does it, he has to introduce different levels of witchcraft. Right. You know You know what's funny about that is, though, you comment, because that's very spiritual that he walked by here. I told you that earlier, right? That's very spiritual. The Most High sent him right on by here. There you go. Yeah, he's, he came to America. You know why they, why they come to America? Because they have religious freedom in America. They gotta worry about uh, the, uh, terrorist attacks for the main well for the main well for the main yeah, well, they're gonna have more. Yeah. 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 So a lot of Israelis they have yeah. the uh, I'm not saying anything anti-Semitic. Okay? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a Semite. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a Shem. I'm, I'm a Shem. Yeah, I'm from Shem. Yeah, I'm from Shem. You know, they most Israelis I believe have two passports. Yep. You know, they have the Israeli passport and they have a, a British or American passport because they know eventually. When the Russians come and burn their ass up, they, 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 they need to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, they gotta flee. You know, that, that's a fact. I'm not just saying that. Hey, they they have those passports so they can leave, so they can get out of there, so they can get out of uh, the land, the land of uh, Israel. Or even Google, look it up. Look it up. Google it. Google it. What? The so-called Jews in Israel have two passports. A European country, probably more than like a German, German, British, French, or American passport. All right, because they're not the, really the people of the land. Nah. 
They're not. They're not the people of the land. The real people of the land are the people that we showed you on the sign talking about blacks, Latinos, Latinos, and Native Americans. The 12 tribes of Israel. All right? Yeah, it would have been because the land would have been flourished already because the Lord said he was going to make the land that flow up with milk and honey. He right. was going to make come it back to the land. Right. You come back to the land, it was going to be better than yeah. when we first started. Right? That's right. That's the prophecy. The Bible says that in Ezekiel. Yeah, that's no, right. No, no so it says in the book of Ezekiel. So why is it, so why is it destroyed right now? Man, why, why do they have to artificially yeah. plant uh, they have something called a caboose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They should be able to just throw the seeds down and they should just spring up like that if that was really that's the kingdom of heaven. And the only place you're going to do that is in the, in the kingdom of heaven. Just kind of throw the seeds down and they're going to sprout right up. But that's what's supposed to happen when the Israelites, all 12 tribes, not just uh, one tribe, all three, all 12 tribes return back to the land. When all 12 tribes return back to the land, then the land of Israel is going to flourish. It's going to be, it's going to be rejuvenated. Yep. Give me that in the book of Ezekiel. Well, finish uh, uh, Revelation. You got, you got Revelation? Yeah, finish, finish it. Finish, 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 finish Revelation. It's Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. Uh, Start from the top. Start from the top. 16. Oh, um, 16. Yep. Yep. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Yep. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. And that no man might buy or sell, mm. save he had the mark, or right. the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Mm. Which is saying the same thing. You got to get the mark to be in new, involved in a new system. system. And you got some smart asses out there who are, who are trying to challenge and say, well, what if I get the chip before they, they make it uh, forceful, mandatory? mandatory. Yeah. Like, well, well, why don't you, why don't you go do it and see what happens? <laughs> We're telling you not to put shit in your body, not to put chips in your body. You want to be a smart, a wise guy, be a smart ass, yeah, and go get the chip before it's enforced. Go see how they work out for you. All right? Yeah, you, have, you have my blessing. Yeah, because the Most High still gonna destroy your ass. Right. And he broke the law. He broke the law already. Right. Yeah. He did it. He did it. He did it maliciously. That's right. And like, and, and trying to be a fucking asshole. That's right. All right. That's right. Keep going, brother. Here is wisdom. This is verse 18. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. Uh -huh. For it is the number of a man. Mm. And his number is six hundred three score and six. Right? That, that, six hundred. Six, that, that's uh six, six hundred. You got three score, twenty, twenty, twenty. Twenty. That's sixty, and then you got six. Six, six, six. six. Esau, Edom loves that number. All right. And he loves to attract and identify people. And he's doing a contact tracing now because he already know that my cell phone was in uh, Philadelphia right. and it traveled on the turnpike and it came up here yeah. to New York. To New York. Yeah. So we already know that we've been went, we've been together. They got it and they collected that data and they stored it in a database somewhere. And they're gonna use the artificial intelligence to because they can't possibly just go through manually all that data. So they, so they have to use artificial intelligence to categorize it and to a point where it's logical based upon the keywords they put in. So they can try they try to track somebody. Hey and when you think about it, the, the keyword the keyword in that last verse, read that last verse one more time, brother, then you got it. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 18. Uh -huh. Here is wisdom. Yep. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. Mm -hmm. For it is the number of a man. Right. For it is the number of a man. There's your point right there, because this man is the spiritual counterpart of Satan. So this man has a number that he's, the, yeah, yeah, that's right. He's the physical, he's the physical counterpart of a spiritual Satan. So this man, this man uses that number because why? He is the wicked. He is the wicked. And the most high created him to be wicked. Is the righteous? Wicked. Simple. Right. And it's, and it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, it's supposed, supposed to be supposed like that. You're supposed to have the righteous set against the wicked and the wicked set against, against the righteous. The righteous. That's, right. that's right. This is why every, every brother and sister is not going to come into the faith. Because right. you're supposed to have uh, scoffers and unbelievers out there. And the Lord did that so we can see the contrast. That's right. That's right. right. And it's up to the will. It's the Lord that will it. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not anything that we can do. It's not how powerful we are. It's the Lord that will it. All right. You got, you, so what do, we, what do we have? What, what you got over there? Uh, Revelation 1 13. Go on. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. All right. This is the Lord in the spirit. He wasn't in the flesh. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool, mm -hmm. as white as snow. Mm -hmm. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. I mean, he had white woolly hair, his neck up, all right? White woolly hair, uh, his neck up, meaning his beard and his uh, 
hair was was woolly. All right. Well, we got again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, huh? as white as snow, huh? and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, which uh, represents, you know, uh, uh, wine and uh, what being being ang being angry. Mm -hmm. You know, Go ahead. and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, mm -hmm. and his voice as the sound of many waters. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, read it again, like it. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Right, and his feet like unto fine brass. Mm. Okay, so he was a dark skinned, refined man. Okay, because this is the Lord in, in his glory. Mm. All right. So even in the spirit world, this, this is how the, how the Lord looks. Okay, and it was, this is refined. He had perfect, a perfect complexion. That's right. Like we looked that word up, uh, fine brass. It means. Uh, of a, a metal more precious than gold, I believe. Something Lombano. Is that either as precious or more precious? Which would have to be more precious? More precious yeah. Because it's the Lord. Yeah, it's the Lord. All right. Like so, something yeah. Lombano. Can I read it. Yeah, go. Ahead. It says um, Greek word. The Greek word is Kalko Lebanon. Kalko. You say slide. You go. Yeah, you go. I'm just pressing the thing. I'm just pressing the thing. Are you good? You good? Oh, Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Some some metal like gold, if mm. not more precious. Kind of some metal like, and it is more precious, precious. because that's that's the Lord and all His power, all His force. Glory. And that's what the Lord. But then the Lord said He wasn't going to meet, come back as a man. Meet as a man. So Yahweh Shah is going to come back just like that. How many? How much is the church going to teach that? No. That the, that the Lord is going to come back as a uh, spiritual force, glowing like the sun, bright with perfect. Uh, with, a, with a perfect body, yeah. a beauty of perfection, the perfection of beauty. Uh, That's how the Lord is going to return, like just like that. Uh, no, no, it's just words. When the Lord actually reveals Himself, it's, it's going. Our, our, our flesh is going to have to submit. Uh, it's not going to be. Well, I'm used to seeing spirits. I'm used to seeing the chariots and all that. Our flesh is going to be forced to submit. That's the kind of power, the presence that the Lord is going to come with. The Lord is Yahweh Shai. Right. Every eye not, shall not, see him. Not Christ. Okay, Christ is uh, who uh, our people from slavery used to worship, a so-called white man. But the biblical name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Christ is a title, which means anointed. Right? Like when you uh, are uh, anoint when you would step into an office, you take a, 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 a leadership role, or you, or you take a job, or you go move and get into a career, you get anointed with oil. And that represents you having to take on all the tasks and duties of that job. All right? So we are well, anointed to be prophets. That's right. All right. And all of us have been had the anointed oil poured in our head during some ceremony, one at one time, and we do it do it amongst each other. That's right. All right. So we're anointed as in the office of a prophet. Everybody's not a prophet. You have Israelites that are just in the faith. Yeah. Everybody can't doesn't have the capacity or the faith to stand here teach. And, and, and teach the word and essentially make make fools out of ourselves. As the scriptures say, we are fools for your house. Shot, sake. Everybody can't do this. Only a certain yeah, small yeah, group of Israelites yeah. are, are the elect. The, the, elect. Prof, the elect prophets can do this. The rest of the, the one third, they not they're not supposed to be out there uh, holding camp. Holding they, they're not they're not built to, uh, to be out here and preach. They're not built for that. They, they, they're built to, to, to be a part of the congregation and you know to, to help. You know, help the, the prophets. They're not built to uh, preach the word. Only the, the hundred and forty-four thousand prophets. Yeah, that's right. So if you if you are if you are compelled to be a prophet, you need to be out here. You got to. Right? You have to be. I mean, and you know. I mean, that's that's something that you got to decide. I can't decide that for you. Yeah, because the Lord got to put the spirit on you, man. And if the Lord didn't put the spirit on you, then guess what? You just not a prophet. It's just it's just that simple. I mean, you know. You got something? Yeah, when I heard the word, I knew I had to, had to emulate. Word, the word. I was yeah. provoked to emulation by the elders. Uh -huh. It's like the, the uh, Israelite like foreigners uh, were, uh, well, not the Israelite foreigners, but the, the, the circumcision was put, was, was provoked to, to emulation because of, because of the, uh, the Israelite foreigners. They were provoked to jealousy. They were, je they were jealous, I should say. They were jealous that the Israelite foreigners were receiving the word, and, they, and certain of the Israelite, uh, Israelite circumcision rejected it. Yep. So they got jealous and said, you know what? If, if, if they get it, then, then, then I'm, I'm circumcised. And, and I, I didn't forsake the laws and all that, so I better, 
I'm, 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 I'm supposed to be in the faith. Yeah, yeah. More than they are. Yeah. So that provoked them to, uh, to, to, to jealousy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you got the same spirit, you see brothers that are teaching, you provoke to jealousy. Like, I can do that, do what they don't. I got the, uh, the spirit. You may not have the ed proper education, but you got the spirit. And you compelled to do it, then, then do it. You got to get to a to camp that's near you. You know, and uh, uh, bring your Bible, make a garment, or get your wife to make a garment if she got some skills, or whatever. That's right. And, and, and come on and uh, congregate with the brothers. That's right. That's right. And, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's. I don't think it's no place in the country where the Great Millstone campaign at. <laughs> I think it's pretty much in every state. That's true. Uh, in all fifty states, yeah, most right. of the brothers you don't even know. Yeah. You know. Most of the brothers you don't even know. Yeah, you may you may run across a brother, you may shalom him, you be like, oh, I don't even know this. You know, that's how it goes. You know, then you get to know them and you see their teachings, and then you know they teaching the same thing that we're teaching. That's right. It's all it's all according to faith. All right, if you stuck between two decisions, that's an evil spirit to have. That's right. I've experienced that, so I'm not just saying like anecdotal evidence and all that. But I know what it feels like to be stuck between multiple choices. It's a terrible, it's a terrible feeling. You don't want to be like kind of trying to decide. Lesson it down, what kind of car to get, you know? That's right. You kind of, yo, that's a terrible feeling. Or trying to decide what career you want to want to uh, go into. You know, they both pay pretty well, but I don't want to make a mistake, you know? And that's the spirit that brothers be in. I don't want, but they don't never admit it. You know? That's why brothers be uh, looking at a bunch of different guys because either a they, they think that everybody has the truth or b they don't really want to choose a side mm -hmm. and it may, may be a c also but they don't want to choose a side from, from what i uh, assess they don't really want to choose a side because they don't want to be wrong they want to get a little here a little there right you know? but again like you said earlier that's going to confuse you you know but you know you see some brothers you already you already just speaking wisdom to the, to the perfect, like the scripture says. This is Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Yep. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Right. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's right. You supposed to read, read that one more time, brother. Okay. This is Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke, and we exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right, that says preach the word, be in season, out season. So you got to do this whether it's rain, snow, or sleet, hell, sunny, whatever the case may be. An instant means to be ready, meaning you got to always be ready to teach, man. Regardless, okay? Whether whether you tired, you, you sick, you hungry, somebody come up and ask you something, and, and, and you got to be ready. Bring out bring out what you got to get. Let them know. That's why it's good to have the brother. Yeah, that's right. If you was by yourself, he would tell you that you yeah. was that uh, it's hard. You know? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I'm trying to buy some video to tell you that. You see that? <laughs> Check uh, this out. You, 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 it's hard to teach by yourself. That's why I do not recommend teaching by yourself. It's it, because it's hard to bring scriptures out. You gotta break it down. And break it down, then you gotta take pictures of the camera right and all that. It's tough. It's good to have a brother brotherhood, which you know, it's tough. And if somebody come up, you know, trying to fight and all that, or they get mad, you got another brother with you. you and they surround you, like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta say to that too. Yeah. At least, at least two. Yeah. You know, you can have at least one brother speaking and another brother watching guard. One brother speaking, and one brother holding the camera. And, uh, the shit happens all the time, yeah. especially when we be around. Rick. So, that's why Yahweh Shai sent the disciples out by two. Yeah, two. Yeah, by two. Two by two. Into every city where he's about to come. That's right. That's right. They act as emissaries, okay, which is a messenger mm -hmm. of a prophet, to, to let them know that their master is about to come. But they had more respect. Like, even though they were demons back then too, but they had more respect for the office of a prophet. So when they see somebody in, in rags, you know, with no shoes on or sandals, come with a staff and everything. Or with the scrolls, or they said don't take take scrolls. Yeah, but you know, you know, it's certain time you know, brothers don't take scrolls. But certain, but the script tell you don't even take the script and all that. Yeah. But Yahweh Shah said, uh, but Jake was built way stronger than than they are right now. Yeah. Right? We way weaker than what we, well, we know more now, but they were stronger back then. Mm -hmm. so in the end, they were they were they respected the office of a prophet more. 
even if they, they killed the prophets, but they still understood it. Even though they, Jake, two thousand years ago, they believe be the prophets, but they understood the office. You know? I got a, uh, I got something real quick. Yeah, yeah, they oh, you, oh, yeah, then they're, they're going to go here. This is verse 3, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Right, now read that again. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Yeah, sound doctrine. Meaning that we in we in, a, in the last days, we well, technically been in the last days since the Lord you know, was put to death and resurrected. That's right. But we even closer to that time now. Yeah. Because the technology, the knowledge increased, the technology yeah. increased. Yeah. We can share more information is readily available. So really, it's become as now is no excuse not to have heard the word. Yeah. Right? Because the word is going out, so it's going, it's no excuse for Israel not to know know what's going on. Uh, we're in a relatively uh, small, small town. I don't know how big this, the city is, but it's a, it's a people can see. Yeah, it's, look, they're taking it's pictures. They know. They take. They walking past. They see the sign. They see brothers out here with garments on, with, with, with beards. You know, brothers that can grow, grow beards. You know. You should want to inquire what you're doing. But the scriptures also tell you in Psalms 110, about that people shall be willing and they have that power. So they're looking at it. It's not like. They were invisible. Now you go to Philly, them, hey, they, they motherfucking demons. They, they, they just, <laughs> woo, love, but the thing is, they still know what they, they still know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no excuse for them either. There's no excuse for you, for you, uh, brother loving uh, Philly, uh, people, people in Philly. Because uh, Philly means brother with love. But that's kind of funny. You got two points to that. They got the, uh, if you having, you do having sex with your brother, the, the homosexual type, and then you lo actually lo loving your brother in a righteous way. You know, but everybody in Philly fucking hate each other. Yeah. So Shoot, is, shooting each other, selling, selling yeah, drugs to each other. So what, so what are they saying? Pretty much what? It's on a hypocritical status. Pretty much, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Shit, crazy, man. Hey. They act like they act like in words. Right. In words, right. In words, right. right. not in heart. Not in heart. Especially yeah, when they're in a black conscious Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. We had a damn Muslim yeah. say to another Muslim right in front of me, the next time I see you, I'm going to shoot you. Right. Oh, he literally said that shit right in front of our face. I was right here, and they was in the fucking street. And they, and to they, another Muslim, next time I see you, I'm going to shoot you. And they so-called yeah. And they so -called supposed to be peaceful? Right. That, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Damn. 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 <laughs> you got smoke for the board that's in you? Your realm of uh, religion? God. Yeah. No, yeah that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. But that's, that's, that's Jake. Yeah. See, the reason why our people are so messed up now is not only because Esau, Edom is a, a demon, and he lays traps and snares privately, uh, and catch Israel, it's also because Israel is a very wicked people. They are. They're very, our people are very wicked, oh, evil yes. people. So Esau, the so-called yeah. white man, facilitates <laughs> their fuck shit, and they add to it. He facilitates it, meaning he amplifies it, and they enjoy doing it also. So this is why when two-thirds of Israel get judged, we're not going to feel sorry for them. All right, yeah, Esau eat him with the devil. Yeah, he laid traps pri privately and all that. We, we know all that. Esau eat him going into slavery. He gonna be burnt. He gonna be the only nation burnt completely out of, out of existence. His flesh. All right. You know what's funny that you say that, Yakaba. You say that on a, on a good point because why? Then he try to make himself the hero at the same time. He'll make he'll make the mess. Then come in and try to be the savior. Like, oh, I gotta come lock you up now after I done push it off on to you. You see. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. <laughs> this man is a devil, man. This man is a damn devil. You know? I got a scripture. You got a scripture? This is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Go ahead. For my people is foolish. For, all right, for my people are foolish. Go ahead. They have not known me. They ain't know the Lord. They don't know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. They are sad as children. They are stupid. Go ahead. And they have none understanding. Right, they have no understanding of how to be righteous. The only, only understanding they have is how to cook up a pack and how to kill their brothers. Okay, go ahead. They are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil. A nigga will do anything to get by. Go ahead. But to do good, they have no knowledge. To do good, to learn this Bible, they have no knowledge. And neither do they want to come up and inquire about the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See? Yeah, and uh, on that point, you have 
you have Israelites that facilitate Jake, Jacob being being this, uh, breaking the laws, being being demons, being a bunch of devils. They'll use the Esau eat him as a, as a crunch and say, oh, he's leading them to all these demonic things. That's that's, that's true. But the thing is, it's two thirds of Israel that's still wicked anyway. Mm -hmm. They still enjoy doing, it. even if they had the, the uh, perfect way to go, they would degenerate. That proves that in the, yeah. in the wilderness. It happened in the wilderness. It happened in the wilderness. It says the Israel. Uh, yeah, because in the wilderness, in the wilderness, they was asking, they was telling Moses they wanted to go back to Egypt and go get those those sweet those, those leeks and those good and those good eats that they was getting. Yeah, because even though they were in slavery, they ate real good. And you know, it's, it's like we know how that feels. Like right now, I want to eat a really good meal after this. But there you go. But then I'm not going to transgress the law of the Lord to do it. That's right. You know, eat Jake like to eat. They, they, they love, love like they like to eat. They like to eat good, good food. Mm -hmm. All right. So after you get done a hard day work of slavery, you want to eat a good meal. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But Jake, they, they don't, they don't have any vision. Nah. They don't understand that things are going to get better. But if you put the work in now, that's right. right? If you use the bro the brotherhood to your advantage that's for right. the knowledge, the, the filling the knowledge that you don't got. Damn. Right? I was just talking to that to them about that same thing. Is that three, three, three? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I was I was just talking to those brothers about that same exact thing. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I was like, if you guys keep coming, you're gonna get the knowledge, man. That's right. <laughs> you anything got? you don't know, you go. Yeah, yeah, you're you you gonna get it. I mean, you can only get, but so much. You know, watching you on, take on, it on YouTube. That's exactly. Wow, you can, that's you, you can learn. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's crazy. You can learn a lot. That's crazy. You can learn a lot, but you, four, you four, get a four, better four, experience seven, if you're a if you're a prophet. Right. You get a better experience and understanding if you actually come out. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, Go ahead bro. This is this on Esau, uh, Israel's wickedness, not just Esau facilitated. David. All right, but Jacob, they actually wicked also. Bro. That's right. That's right. This is Exodus chapter 32 and verse 6. Mm. And they rose up early on the morrow yeah. and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. <laughs> there you go. And rose up to play. All right. Meaning to just joke around. All right. So and I believe that was uh, referring to the golden calf or something like that. The uh, uh, transgression. Read, read up a little bit. Oh, no, no. I, I, I think it was uh, Moses going into the, into the uh, prophecy. Just around like that. The kid made, made all of that. Either that or the, uh, going into the golden calf. By the way, Jacob, Jacob was being uh, irresponsible. Wicked. Okay. Even though they had the, uh, they have food and remnant, and they had shelter, and he had the, the pillar of fire by, uh, day, by the, day. Uh, the cloud oh, by, by day and the pillar of fire by, by, by night. night. Mm -hmm. They had that power with them, mm -hmm. and Jacob still. Matter of fact, can we find that pillar of uh, fire by night. Yeah. You know what, you know they had that, and he still was transgressed. So you can't just say, "Oh, it's just Esau." Well, yeah, we Esau know Esau is the devil, right? And he's gonna get his just dessert. He's gonna get his ass kicked. Man, I'm telling you, Esau is gonna pay the utmost. So all this wickedness that we that we saying right now, we are gonna forget that in the kingdom. And hey, Salaki, so Salaki, brother, you know what's funny that you say that too, because our, our people when doing the time in the wilderness, they were rebellious against Moses. They were saying, "Who, who are you to tell us anything, Moses?" You, you see what I'm saying? Damn. Who are you to tell us anything? But little do they know, the Heavenly Father was dealing with this man yeah. on, a, on, a, on a different yeah, right. level. You see? So, right. yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You know, they didn't respect the, 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 respect the leadership. They didn't respect the leadership. Same that's today. Right? Yeah. Same today. Yeah. That's Judah for you. Especially <laughs> starting with Judah. Because Judah, Judah come up and they go, well, I believe I believe in this. No, it's not about what the hell you believe. Huh? It's not about, it's about, it's about what we telling you in that sense. Right, yeah, we dictate to, to a lot of you guys yeah. think that we, this is like a... Uh, like democracy or something right. like that. He, like, he, he can come to an agreement. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a, a so-called canon. Right. You know, we're telling you what the, what the, what the word means. You can get on board or you go follow somebody else do whatever the hell you want to do. That's it. Are we telling you what, what the truth is? And if you on the same frequency, see, the thing is about, like, the reason why we can see is because we, we can see visible light. Our eye can see visible light. Because it's, it's on the same uh, frequency. Now, if you go higher or lower, then it's, that's the frequency the human eye can't see. It. Mm -hmm. that, that proves that angels are around us. Yeah. They, they're just on a different way. They're, they're on a different wavelength. Yeah. All right. And sometimes your understanding is on a different wavelength. All right. It may be uh, lower. Let's use that analogy. In which you can't uh, see the, 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 the way our wavelengths. Are. All right. Everything that, that that's visible to our eye 
it's only very small in the spectrum of, you know, uh, light. Right. You know, we got a, a, above it and below it. Right. That that things that are around us right now that you cannot see. Right. All right. Right. So you can't say that things that aren't that it's like no that, that you can't uh, say that angels don't exist, demons don't exist, the other forces at work. You know, you don't believe in them because you can't see them with your own eyes. You know? right. And uh, well, we got we got spiritual eyes. Yep. You see, right. brother, every brother got a, every brother got spiritual eyes up here. You see, right. that's why our pineal glands is not. We don't have our pineal gland closed. The Most High is dealing with the pineal gland to put that information up into you. Right, so we can see on different, on different frequencies, different wavelengths. That's right. At yeah, certain times, you can get a vision on something that's happening at a different, you know, frequency. That's right. You know, nobody else can't see it. That's right. Or even hear something that nobody else can't hear. That's right. I believe there was a uh, account of that with Paul. I believe. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that was an account, right? They said they 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 they, they only heard so they heard something else. And Paul saw and something heard different. something. Yeah, he saw and heard something different. Yeah, so that, that proves it. You can't say that the <laughs> demons and angels don't exist. Because they do. Okay, so, they, that, that's that's science right there. Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 that's that's carnal. That's carnal. Okay, that's carnal. And then the thing, you good guys don't even believe carnal stuff. Right? <laughs> you know, you don't even believe carnal stuff. It's always supposed to be spiritual with you. God. You know, you can look at a you can look at a, a darn chart and see that. The, the wavelength and the visible light that we can see, and then you can go. That's a small area, and then everything above it and below it that's invisible to our eye. You know. You got you got that scripture, brother? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Exodus it down, you you got it, you got it. This is Exodus chapter 13, that was, verse that was 21. Okay, yeah. And Lord. the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud yeah. to, lead, to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire mm. to give them light to go by day and night. Right, so that was a, a, a manifest miracle right there. And Jacob still went off. <laughs> so you can't say, oh, it's just Esau. Esau, you put bricks so you can go smash windows up, you know, and uh, and rot and loot the stores, man. Yeah, Esau's the, the Satan the incarnate. Yeah. Okay, but we gotta take responsibility for our own actions, also. That's right. We blame both. We don't just blame one. We blame both. We blame the wicked Israelites and we blame the wicked ass Edomites. That's right. All right. But you know these black conscious people, BLM, they they just blaming Republicans. They blame the Republicans. Who else they blame? <laughs> they blame Republicans and uh, the the, uh, the white supremacist power structure, the, uh, the, prison, the prison industrial complex. No shit. Those are all systems set in place to trap Jacob. But East Jacob is still going out doing demonic shit, also God, helping yeah. to make the, the job easier. Right. They, they built the they built the prisons yeah. to keep you in there, right? Right. Which is true. I believe it. I believe yeah. it. It's, Factual evidence out there to support that. Okay. Actual evidence from slavery all the way up to now. I, I can see that evidence, physically see it. And yeah. I also believe it. That's right. All right. But I also can see and believe, according to, to the history, that Jacob has a history Wickedness. of fucking up, of being wicked, yeah, yeah. being yeah. fucking demons. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and remember, these are the same people that, that will, uh, will try to curse us out and tell us that we're saying something wrong, and they can't prove what they're saying in the scriptures. Right. We can prove what we're saying in the scriptures. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, Look, the Lord is so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Right. It's not. It's not a cracker. Okay. Right. Which most of you people worship. You, you worship <laughs> the same people that taught you how to speak Spanish. Right. Taught you how to speak. Uh, they will crucify you. Okay. Right. If you didn't convert to Christianity. Right. Okay. Know. They did that in on, in, on, uh, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. You had to crucify your ass if you didn't uh, accept Christianity. Yeah. But yet, a lot of you. you dumbass Latinos want to worship some damn white Christ. Right. Wor worship. Worship. The God of the Bible is a so-called white man. That's that's insanity. Uh, local. Worshiping your it's damn local. worshiping your damn <laughs> worshiping your damn oppressor. Uh, How are you gonna worship somebody that crucifies you? That's crazy. Okay? Yo, that, At least they put you on the cross and crucify you uh, if you didn't uh, convert to Christianity. Right? That's crazy. They taught you how to speak Spanish. That's okay? that, that mentality. What's that they call it? Um, Oh, what you call Stockholm Syndrome. There you go, brother. There you go. That's it. That's a lot. A lot of our people got nothing but Stockholm Syndrome. They got they got a, a Jesus Christos all up in their crib, man. Yo, they got that heavy D spirit on them. I ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. That's right. I got a family member's uh, stepbrother's grandmother that has uh, an Edomite picture of Christ oh, in her man. kitchen. 
Damn, oh, bro. Man. I'm like, wow. That's, Damn, that's, that's bro. Good. Damn, oh. she's like in a 70, she's about 74, 75. Oh, they were and she's, hooked. And she's from the South. Oh, yeah. So yeah. all the Christianity she learned, because my family's originally from the South. We Sorry, came up here on the, uh, on the train. Oh, boy, oh, boy, yeah. the train. Got be. Uh, they learned that from uh, from slavery. Yeah. <laughs> they learned all the uh, what man. the Lord looked like from slavery, but that's yeah. not it's not it's not biblical. Nah. We're saying that the, the Lord is, is uh, you know pale face, uh, lost the, uh, the, 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 uh, the complexion, the, the melanin and all that. <laughs> the, the Lord was a melanated man, a dark skinned man. God. They'll put him. They'll put. The, uh, they'll they'll uh, frame Yahweh Shai or the Christ. I say frame Christ. Jesus as, Christ as a, uh, <laughs> a non melanated uh, Greek. Right, 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 not, right, don't right. even look like a Hebrew Israelite. Like, he looks like a so-called like so-called so -called European. Because like the original Europeans were actually men, people of color. But he looked like a so-called Euro European with a, a, a Greco slash Roman garment on when, when they depict them in, in their artwork. Yeah. But you, you know you know the question I always ask them though, Yacob. I ask them, I go, well, if if, if this so-called white man is your God and you're in slavery, how is he coming back to save you? So you're saying right. that, so you're saying that the so-called white man is going to come out of the cloud. He's going to come back and save you when your ass already in sin. That don't make right. no sense. Well, look, see, the thing is, they got the, they got the Stockholm syndrome, Con. and That's good shit. they don't understand who the salvation is for. Right. The salvation is not for Esau either. The salvation is only for the, the oppressed people. People. That's what's the, the Lord's oppressed people. That's right. All right. The Lord's oppressed people. Meaning Esau, he has the different devices set up. Oh, to, yeah, to keep us in captivity, to, 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 to pull yeah. us from our glory. That's right, What we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be kings. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. supposed to be young kings, young princes, and for the women, princesses, not princesses. queens. Yeah, not no queens. Okay, uh, I mean, the daughters of royalty. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Daughter, daughters, daughters of royalty. So that's the, the state we're supposed to be in, but we're not. So all that's been stripped from you. So what the Lord's going to do is, He's going <laughs> to. Strip Esau so from all, all, all his resources, burn him up, okay, and then put us back in our rightful place. But before that happens, Esau is going to try to try to murder us, try to kill us. Right, right. right? And he's going to try to organize us in a work brigade by putting that chip in us. So putting us farther into slavery. He got labor. That's what we're going to be actually saved from. We're going to be getting saved from going far, farther, deeper into you know, like cattle, cattle slavery. Because cattle slavery is when you actually. Yeah, chattel slavery is when you actually uh, bind, bind it with a mark. Mark, that's you right. know, because yeah. you, you mark with your owner's, uh, with your master's mark. Mark, you have to be okay, sold. With, with the, with burned into your skin. Some of them put the uh, on, on their genitals or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like horses, or whatever, and their cow or bulls. They they do it on like they, their backside or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a sign of servitude. That's yeah. the that's the badge of your owner. So you take that chip, you are owned by your master. Yeah, you're owned by your master. You're yeah. owned by which is Esau Edom. That's right. The system. The system. Yep. That's right. The all A U L, uh, the cutting instrument that they used to pierce through the door yeah, to God, signify yeah. that you was a slave for life. Mm -hmm. yeah, because but you're you doing got, it you under, under Esau. Yeah, yeah, under and Esau. That, and that's a wicked type of slavery because you got to you got to uh, perform all the tasks he do, does in his uh, in his wickedness. Yeah, because Esau is the goddamn devil. Uh, go ahead. But, but, real quick. Oh, go go ahead, yeah, brother. Real, real quick. Go, yeah, go ahead, brother. This is John chapter eight, verse forty-four. Ye are of your father the devil, uh -huh. and the lust of your father ye will do. Mm. He was a murderer from the beginning, mm. and abode not in the truth. And abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. Mm. Right, so you can't say uh, that, that uh, Esau, he's just for the betterment of mankind, and he's going to do everything uh, good and right. Okay, certain technologies have improved, the, the, like the, the invention of machi automated machines, yeah. and made life yeah. easier, yeah. but it always comes with a price. Okay. Make, every, make time we progress, every time we progress in technology, there's always a negative effect also. You can't have this progress in Esau's uh, it's, 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 rulership it's, it's, anyway. Right. Without right. some type of some type of uh, uh, something negative happening also. Watch out you know, you know what's funny about this is because this whole America, Babylon, is nothing but a corporation. Now, when you're in a corporation, guess what? Everything is everything is <laughs> oh, sell, 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 sell. sell. So what other Bible. way, what, and, and, and when you're in a corporation, you deal with money in a corporation, right? In a corporation system. <laughs> so crazy. another way of a corporation Shit. system is to take away the fiat currency and bring in a cashless currency, which is the RFID microchip, 
to make people servitude, to make people sa uh, slaves unto your corporation. America is a, 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 a corporation. That's all it is, man. Okay? With an RFID chip that's going to be intact. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cut you off. Man. No, go ahead, brother. It's okay. But uh, what, uh, whatever scriptures you got, brother, you me? reel them out. Yeah, let's yeah, finish, let's finish, finish rapid, rapid, rapid uh, fire. I got a little, bit more, a little bit more. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. So-called white man. Go ahead. For he is a liar and the father of it. He's a liar and the father of it. Goes back to Cain. This man is a devil. And Cain is reincarnated as who? Esau Edom. And this man is still speaking the same madness that he was speaking back then. Lies. One more verse. Go ahead. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Yeah, Yahweh Shai said, because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Yeah, and that's like, and like, that was, huh? So lucky, like if we went up to this guy right here, right? We say, hey man, you know you're an Israelite? You know you ain't supposed to be shaving your face? He ain't gonna listen. He, he, was a he would think that was a lie, man. He ain't gonna listen. He would think you lying to him. You trying to mistreat him or something. Yeah, uh oh, you trying to tell me I got to shave? I can't shave? No, you can't be shaving because the, the so-called Caucasians taught you that garbage, man. The Caucasian man taught you to shave your face, man. Hey, man, it's all right to shave your face. It's not okay to shave your face. You're an Israelite. If you're a Mexican or whoever you are, you're an Israelite. He, he just heard it, so. You got your little AirPods on, getting in the back seat. Yeah, well, to it, shave it, your face. With women, you see that? With, with, with women driving him, he got to get in the back seat. A man. A man got to go in the back seat. Disrespectful, man. Beta the male out. To shave your face is demasculinity. Yeah. And you demat you because you... Now you dropping down because that's like a lion being in the in the jungle and he just go and just no mane he just go and just shave his shit off. Yeah, you, you see any no damn sense. lions with a damn mane off? <laughs> hey, look at her, look like a lioness. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, the, the difference between a male lion and a female lion? That's deep. That's the damn deep. mane. Yeah. The, the, the mane, or what is it? The mane. Yeah. The mane. Yeah, 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 the mane. Yeah, mane. So you got the mane. You got the beard. That's what. This is what makes me a man right here. It makes you a man. Oh, right. you know, I would like that if you shaved that off. But what the hell with you, man? We ain't shaving nothing off because it's why. Oh, why? Because it's in the scriptures. Give me um, Revelation real quick. I'm going to hit a couple scriptures and then, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm ready to keep going. So, uh, I'm energized. But what? That's because, I, you know, I didn't really say too much. But go ahead and um, give me Revelation 14. Uh, no, 22 and 14. Because they got guys in Christianity talking about the laws done away with. But now, if that was so, well, you couldn't get on anybody for anything. I couldn't tell you to not do anything. Hey man, you know you can't, oh, the law's done away with. That's, that's the comeback for everything. Hey man, you know you just stole from me. Yeah, but the law's done away with, brother. What? Hey man, you, what are you doing? Man, that's my wife, man. You can't be talking to her. Ah, uh, well, the law's done away with, man. <laughs> Sorry. Law's done away. Wicked. Sound good, but the law's done, look, hell no, man. Go ahead with that scripture. This is Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life. That's right. Blessed are they that do his commandments, for they may have right to the tree of life. Give me uh, Psalm 19 and 7. So Nin 19 and 7. That. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That's going to be the elect. Right. That's going to do the commandments, because two-thirds of our people, they're not going to follow the commandments, man. That's they're, right. They're going to continue to stay eat pork, lobster, shrimp, and pat, and yep. so on and so forth. But go ahead, brother. This Crab Rangoon. Rangu. <laughs> this, this is Psalms chapter 19, yeah. verse 7. The law of the Lord, Yahweh, is perfect. Yeah, the law of the Lord is perfect. So how the hell is something that's perfect done away with? You people don't make no sense. Right. He I mean, you really got to really chop it down. What'd you say, brother? He the, Lord, the Lord, what? He the, he the same yesterday, today, Yeah, as he, is, as he is forever, he man. not. So for him to get rid of the law, <laughs> I mean, that'd be a contradiction of who Yahweh Shai is. That's right. All right, right. right? You know, that make him a liar, which he's not. All right, go ahead. That's right, brother. Yep. Yeah, because the Lord the Lord ain't lying on yeah. his word, man. That's it. He holds his word above himself. Ooh. Know? That's it. Yeah. Ooh. Go ahead. Let's go. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, ooh. A real, a real quick one. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to hit him real quick. He's sneaking in. This is uh, Baruch chapter, uh, chapter 4, verse uh, 1. This is the book of the commandments right? of the Most High. Yeah, this whole book. The third rod <laughs> with the apocrypha. All right? <laughs> all, of course, everything. The writing is everything. Go ahead. To, to, to knock off. And, and the law mm -hmm. that endures, but For, such as leave it right? shall die. Right. Right. Yeah. If you leave, obviously, off this word, that's why people went into, of course, a Gentile state of mind. Yeah. All right. And, of course, they went and walked into the congregation of the dead, being yeah. without understanding. They don't have the law, statute, commandments. 
All right, now you see the elect, they waking up right now, all right, and coming back to the law of sex commandments, call them on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, and they getting their redemption, all know. right? And they rehearsing the rehearsing. righteous act. There you go. All right, you. practicing it, which yep. is, that's your part. That's beautiful, yep. you know, to see that, yeah. all right? Because, of course, we had that what? The Yerah, the fear yeah. for Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, yeah. where these dudes, we'll go and tell them, hey, look, you ain't got no beard on your face. Yeah. The Lord going to destroy you. That's in the law, <laughs> right? <laughs> He don't care because he don't like fear, yeah. right? You know, yeah. which what? That's the beginning of wisdom, right?